Here we are. Man, does it feel great to be back in front of this camera doing another video for you guys. Shout out to you, all of you. Thank you for believing in me, this channel. The support has been overwhelming. I appreciate every one of you that has reached out to me. Thank you to the people that are new here. Appreciate you. I mean, shoot, you guys didn't even know when my next video was coming. I didn't know when my next video was coming for that matter. I mean, here we are. It's 1230 in the morning. I should be sleeping. I'm recording. I have the itch. I had to get this video done. Had to get it out there for you guys. So what we're talking about today are my most worn fragrances throughout the months of April and May. Now, going forward, I am going to report back to you guys every month, let you guys know what I've been wearing the most, what I've been loving. If there's any new discoveries that I've made that I think you guys should check out, I'll report back to you sort of like this. This is not a ranked list. It is categorized in a way. You guys are just going to, you're going to have to, I'm going to share the deets. Don't you worry. You're just going to have to wait right there. Stay tuned. I hope to God that I never say deets again. I'm sure you hope that I never say that again. Anyway, stay tuned. Welcome back everyone. For those of you that forgot my name, and sometimes I do that too, I forget my own name. My name is Dave. On this channel, we discuss grooming and fragrance. If you dig the vibe, subscribe. Hit the like button, everybody. I would appreciate that. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content. You know what, guys? Also, comment below. Are there new discoveries that you've recently made that you would like to share with us? Please share that in the uh, comment section below. Let, let us know if there's an old fragrance that you revisited, you were previously neglecting for whatever reason, you revisited and now you've fallen back in love with it. Or if there's just something that you want to recommend and suggest to me, we have a couple of those here that were suggested, one from the Instagram world and one from uh, um, a subscriber of this channel. But yeah, guys, this list isn't really a traditional list of what you're accustomed to, okay? I have six fragrances here. I've categorized these, so I have date night, I have casual, uh, what I've been wearing, you know, and what I've been wearing the most. After all, that's what this video is all about. What I've worn the most throughout April and May. So as I was saying there, I'm sorry, there's a day night fragrance that's going to cover April and May. It was just one, it became like my signature scent for uh, April and May, believe it or not. And then I have things that I was gravitating towards, you know, for casual days, like my days off from work, what I was wearing the most and reaching for the most I have those and for those of you that don't know I do work in an office so I have three fragrances here with awesome stories to go along with it and this is so, some sort of video that I do plan on doing each and every month here for you guys because I'm able to tell a, a very in-depth story because it's it's true to life this is you know fragrances that I've been wearing the settings that I've been wearing the feedback that I've been getting if they garnered me any feedback compliments you know that's sort of a thing but anyway Let's kick it off with the first fragrance that's pretty much become my signature date night fragrance. The fragrance that we're going to be starting this video off with is Dolce Diablo from the brand Narcotica. This stuff is freaking amazing. It was launched in 2022, so this year, your perfumer here is uh, Claude Deere. Excellent freaking atomizers, man. The sprayers here, great, just phenomenal. And so is the smell. I absolutely love this. If you guys love sweet boozy gourmand style fragrances this this is a must try in my opinion i would say must buy but it's very expensive this goes for 280 dollars, i believe uh, i'm going to link door perfumes down below where you could find a bottle or a sample of this and uh you could you know definitely sample it this is a must try in my opinion but anyway the fragrance so the fragrance here you're, you're going to have notes here of chocolate cacao there's cognac rum so you have a double boozy note there's also sugar in here apricots you have dried fruits you have woods you have a little bit of spice here but really when all is said and done and it the fragrance settles it's all about the uh the boozy elements and those uh those those gourmand aspects of the fragrance it, it is it is a sweet boozy gourmand fragrance through and through that's that's what this fragrance is i've been reaching for this on date nights because i am addicted to the smell i love the smell of it people love 
the smell of this when it's on me. I'm going to get to that in a moment here. But the reason why I've been choosing to wear this, and, and here's a little helpful tip for those of you that need it. Um, the thing is, is the places that we've been going, and I've been reaching for this one, they've been relatively small. So the first night in particular that I, I actually gave this my first full wearing, it was a small restaurant to where Jessica, my girlfriend and I, Jessica and I started our night at, at a restaurant. We ended up at a bar later on, okay? But they were both small places, all right? And that's the thing about this stuff and why I gravitate for this other than just loving the smell. So we go into the restaurant, we sit down and I'm asking her for feedback, right? So I said, oh, can you smell me? She's like, yeah, but it's not overwhelming and powerful. And I said, that's great because the tables and everything were very close together. And that's the thing, guys, when, when it comes to date night and sensual, you know, kind of more romantic situations and settings, you really want to grab something that's not super loud and projecting. You don't need to go grabbing people from 10 feet away to pull them towards you or anything like that, especially on a first date where you could maybe overwhelm that person just sitting, you know, a foot and a half, two feet away from you. You don't really want that. You want to grab something like this. Now, like I said, it's not loud projecting to where you're going to grab people 10 feet away, but make no mistake about it. This is staying on your skin and not going anywhere. This is easily a 12, 13, 14 hour fragrance. I was smelling it on myself the next morning when I woke up each and every time that I've worn this. The other places that I've worn it, again, restaurants, bar type of scenarios, but that first night that I, I wore this and we, were, we went to the bar after the restaurant, there was two young ladies sitting next to us and the, the one girl, she had leaned in and she had said, she's like, excuse me, she's like, what are you wearing? And I, I, you know, I talked to her about this fragrance. She's like, I have to pick that up for my boyfriend. It smells incredible. I love that sort of feedback. I don't talk about compliments and stuff like that that often, but hell, let's just be honest with each other. Compliment factor, maybe for you, maybe for I, is not the end all be all. However, it's pretty damn nice when somebody pays you a compliment, especially on an expensive fragrance. Am I right or am I right? I'm right. Don't even try to argue with me. But anyway, guys, Narcotica. Dolce Diablo, definitely check this out again. If you love boozy, sweet, gourmand style fragrances, this is an absolute must. It's great for fall and winter. It's going to be a star in fall and winter. However, summer date nights, guys, don't sleep on this fragrance. Please don't sleep on this one. Links down below. All right, now that we've got the date fragrance out of the way, here we go with the casual fragrance. This one is by the brand Sense of Wood, and this one is sandalwood in oak there it is right there this stuff is just amazing i love the brand sense of wood i definitely have to get my nose on more of their uh fragrances this stuff is so great mackenzie riley is the perfumer here 2020 this one was launched you have in addition to that sandalwood that oak you have pink peppercorn in here i believe you have iris you have vanilla it's so creamy it's so decadent it's such a great fragrance you have this smoke stage now the smoke stage here is very interesting because to me it provides a bit of a calming sensation so does that creamy vanilla as well and obviously the woods you know for me woods are very very calming but anyway that smoke stage that's something that uh People have been using for hundreds of years, you know, smoke, smoking sage in their in their homes and things like that is a form of healing, you know, and comfort. And that's kind of what this fragrance is. However, in terms of a perfume, I could see this being signature scent worthy for many people. For me, most notably, you know, wearing this fragrance casually, I wore it to my daughter's art show and I was smelling fantastic. People were telling me that I was smelling great. My girlfriend really loved this stuff on me. And yeah, it was just one of those things where in the air I was catching wafts of it. And I was like, man, this stuff is so good. It's so good that I'm actually ordering a full bottle of this. I, I live with this 10 milliliter decant for uh, for long enough now. I need to own a, uh, a full bottle of this. And yeah, I, I love the brand Sense of Wood. They put out some amazing creations. If you guys, if you have the opportunity, I recommend and suggest doing that um, where you can get the three, you know, 10 mils just like this. It comes in a pack. I believe it's like uh, 98 bucks you can get it. I know it's a little expensive, but hey, think about it. Three 10 mils, that gives you a 30 ml of juice for 98 bucks, and it gives you a way to explore the brand. I recommend trying sandalwood and oak. It's so good. 
it's unisex, it's nice. It, it, it is a little airy, but there is some density to it. It does stick to my skin. It projects well enough to get you noticed. Obviously, I just said, you know, people were telling me how good I was smelling on that particular day. <sighs> and it's just, it's a great smelling fragrance, especially, you know, if you like things like smoked sage, if you like oak, you like creamy sandalwood and vanilla, you know, together to just make one intoxicating aroma and blend. Definitely check out sandalwood and oak from Scents of Wood. All right, so the next casual fragrance, because we got one of the casual fragrances out of the way. The next one is this one right here, my baby. Dior Ohm Intense, guys. I'm gonna make a bold statement here. This is, this. if I had to sit down and think about it, this has to be in my top five designer, favorite designer releases of all time, at least from what I've smelled. This stuff is so great. 2011, this one here was launch, launched, uh, excuse me there. Francois de Marche is your perfumer here. Lavender, you have Iris, and it's this powdery Iris. You have Tonka Bean in here and Brett, you have Vetiver. It's so good, it's a little woody, but really all in all, it's about this beautiful powdery iris. Oh, you know what I just remembered too? And, and Brett, you know, powdery, musky, and Brett. It has pear. Now, I don't really get a pear smell. Like my brain doesn't immediately, oh, there's pear in here. No, at least for me, it never happened like that. But there is a brightness here. There is a, a slight tart, bright, citrus-like component that I detect. I, I, I can't admit that it's that it's pear, you know, that comes to mind, but there definitely is a brightness here that comes from a citrus. So we'll credit it. We'll go along with pear, you know, but maybe you guys smell it. You're like, no, dude, it's definitely pear. For me, it just, it, it smells great. I love this stuff. Yes, casually for the months of, uh, of April, for the months of, actually this was May. I'm sorry, I didn't mention that. I wore this one casually in April. This one was my go-to jam for the month of May. Guys, I've been away for a long time. I, for, I forgot that I'm supposed to be like, you know, keeping some sort of structure around here. But anyway, yeah, the month of May is where I wore this the most. Anyway, Dior Homme Intense. Just, I love this stuff. I like it better than the Parfum. This is my favorite, um, my favorite of the three, the original, this and the, uh, the Parfum. This is definitely my favorite. Like I said, guys, Love the smell of this, love the performance. Performance on this is in my sweet spot, six to eight hours. It's not a beast or anything like that. It gets me enough um, projection to where people are going to notice me or notice you for that matter. And it's a great one. If you have the opportunity, definitely get your nose on this one. Don't wait like I did. Get your nose on this ASAP if you haven't yet. Dior Ohm Intense, the 2011 version that won't focus. There we go. So we covered date, we covered casual, now let's talk about The Office. Now, for The Office, I have a bit of a challenge, right, for myself. Every Monday, I call it Fougere Monday, I go into my collection, I pick out a Fougere to wear. Well, my most worn Fougere fragrance for the month of April in The Office is this one right here. This one is called Nilofar. It's from the brand Nilofar Donil. What an amazing, amazing fragrance this is. Actually... Shout out to you, subscriber of the channel. I'm gonna pop your name up right here. This stuff is absolutely incredible. It's now available at Lucky Scent, guys. Um, I didn't buy it right away, only because you could only get it overseas. So I, I did wait, and thank God I did. You know, it's available now at Lucky Scent. I'll, I'll link them below. I'm not affiliated with them whatsoever, just so you guys could go over there. Fine. I blind bought this. It is absolutely amazing. It really is. Chris Maurice is your perfumer here. Chris Maurice, you probably know him. He's done many fragrances for Zerzhov. This one was launched back in 2021. It is a fougere, like I was saying. A little bit different though, because there's, there's gourmand facets and notes here that you're actually going to be able to pick up. But you have things like mint here, you have geranium, you have your oak moss, you have soapy lavender here. So many, you know, um, what do I want to say? Many familiar suspects, if you will, when it comes to a fougere fragrance. But the difference here is you have cinnamon. So you have this warm, spicy, cozy facet here. You have hazelnuts here, you have almond, you have vanilla. So you have these gourmand, these nutty components in this composition as well. This stuff is freaking incredible. I love it. Matter of fact, guys, forget about office signature scent for the month of April. 
when I received my package from Lucky Sim, at, you know, after I purchased this bottle here, I wore this four days in a row. That's unheard of for me. I don't do it. I never do it. I like to wear something different every day, but I was that addicted to the smell of this fragrance that I just kept wearing it. Even now, guys, look, I'm like a fiend over here. I keep wanting to smell this one because it's, it's that attractive. And yes, this garnered me so much attention and partly because it's a very, it's a very pleasing, you know, to the nose type of a fragrance, but also it's very, very strong. It's very potent. It's an extra de parfum. And this one, there's no tricks. It's extra de parfum like you would expect. It's a very strong, potent fragrance. It's going to project. It's going to last and last and last. 10 hours plus easy. Having you just smell great all freaking day long. And this stuff is so good, guys. If you and when you have the opportunity to definitely check out Nullifer from the brand Nullifar Donil. Nullifar? Nullifar. I don't know. All right, so let's stick with the office theme. Let's go to Fougere Mondays and move on to the month of May. So the month of May, I was rocking every Monday Platinum Egoist by Chanel, launched in 93. This is a, uh, um, a Jacques Polish creation here. Stuff is amazing. Actually, funny story about this. I posted this uh, story on my Instagram, right? Where I was asking folks, like, what do you prefer the um the original egoist or platinum it was overwhelming platinum egoist is what was most preferred so according to my uh my my buddies my pals over there my my instagram fam as i could call them um my supporters there on instagram right to the point where mid-afternoon uh, no it wasn't mid it was like two three o'clock my time so two or three in the in the afternoon i literally packed my family in the car and said let's go to the mall so we went to the mall i bought this fragrance had to and i'm glad i did it's so good guys it's very fresh clean it's professional it's so easy to wear it's easy on the nose people again it's another one of those fragrances people are going to love the way you smell so anyway you have a bit of rosemary here i believe there's neroli and other citruses credited now i don't pick up so much on individual citrus notes there is a freshness kind of going on here so it could be those citrus components creating that but could also be the feel of soapy lavender. You know, you also have earthy components here. You have oak moss, you have a nice woody, you know, uh, sandalwood note, creamy sandalwood note in here. Stuff is just amazing. It, it's crazy to think too, this fragrance is damn near 30 years old, doesn't smell dated. Matter of fact, for those of you like that never tried this before, you're new to Fougeres, you wanna experience Fougeres, great place to start right here. It's not dated not going to have you smelling old man or anything like that this stuff is just going to have you smelling incredible it's just it is what it is that's why i love wearing it in the office it is platinum ego east from chanel oh i got that cap filthy when i touched it oh well. okay so I, I was telling you guys about the office right so we have two themes i said there's fougere monday but there's also signature scent saturday in the months of april and may i wore donne by argos this stuff is freaking amazing. It's so amazing that it is my, now it is my favorite fragrance from the brand. No, I have not tried the newest uh, launch, Adonis Awakens. I do plan on trying that soon. This stuff is incredible. This was launched in 2021. Christian Petrovich, the owner, the CEO, founder of the brand is also the, uh, the perfumer responsible for this beautiful creation. Let me tell you something. He really showed his true talents with this creation right here. My favorite, arguably, you know, aside from Adonis that I haven't tried yet, the best from the brand. Yes, I know, I am a Triumph of Bacchus fanboy, but this is just better. When I think of that fragrance and how far that Christian has come and grown as a perfumer, you smell his skill right here. It's so well blended, balanced. It's, it's just a beautiful, gorgeous scent. You have bergamot here, you have Sicilian lemon. So bright, fresh, invigorating at the top, but it transitions. You get these nice blonde woods, you get pink peppercorn. There's this nice green patchouli that also adds a little bit of a creaminess that I'm getting. There's also sandalwood in here, again, adding another creamy facet to the fragrance. There's sticky sweet cystus here as well. Now, when I say sticky sweet cystus, don't think that this is going to be a youthful, 
playful uh, type of smell. It's not the case here at all. Matter of fact, this is a very upscale, luxurious, classy and sophisticated type of fragrance. One that you would definitely want to wear dressed up, hence why I wear it um, in a suit and tie when I'm going to work because that's, you know, I, I work in a professional setting and that is the perfect setting to wear this. The great thing about this too, you could wear it all year long. I love it. It has that bright opening. It has those sweet components in the base of the fragrance. It has blonde woods to wear, you know, those woody aspects are great for fall, for springtime. But if you have a special event in the winter where you would want to wear this, perfect no problem performance here is great i get roughly that seven to eight hour mark i mean it hangs around longer than that but just to make it fair you know it's about a seven eight hour fragrance it's not a screamer but it projects better than you would think because after a while you do start to go nose blind or anosmic to the smell but trust me when i tell you people will still smell you and why i wore this two months in a row is because the people in my office love Donna. So that makes me want to wear it more. And before I put this fragrance down, can we just talk about how freaking gorgeous this bottle is? I mean, beautiful attention to detail all the way around. You can't ignore that. And I'm glad that Christian doesn't ignore that also. And atomizers are just some of the some of the best in the game breathtaking stuff guys definitely check this out when you have the opportunity done by argos all right guys that is the end of the video i appreciate you guys let me know in that comment section below because like i said i do want to uh do this every month for you guys so let me know give me some feedback let me know what you'd like to see more of less of whatever share all feedback with me you guys know me i'm an open book i love feedback i live for that type of stuff but I thought it would be nice for you guys to know what I've been wearing, what other people have thought or what they have said. If anybody says anything, now I don't mind coming on here saying that I wore this and nobody said anything about it. I don't really care about that, you know, but I think it's just good for you guys to get a sense and a feel for what I'm actually wearing. And you can see it because you can see the lack of levels in juice. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate it, guys. Thank you in advance for all your feedback. Appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. We're going through some, we, we are all going through some crazy tough times right now. And that's why, you know, I stress this in every ending of every video and it will always remain the same. Love each other, respect everyone and take care of each other, guys. Life is far too short and we could make it. We can make it together. And together means to help each other and bring each other up. That's how we're going to overcome these crazy obstacles we're all seeing, guys. But don't worry, I'll be back soon-ish, okay? Until next time, take care, everyone. I love you all. Thank you. We'll see you soon. Peace.